to our families and friends, Grant and I have some big news for you. Um, it's just that today it's going to be just me telling the news since he is at work and our schedule is totally opposite for the entire week so we don't want to wait another week to tell you the good news. We have received our PGS results for our embryos yesterday and uh, they came a few days early than expected. So um, I was in a room with patient yesterday when a notification popped up on my watch and when I saw that it was from Progenesis, I can't help myself but um, look at it and I saw some words underneath the email that says um, your uh, genetic testing is now available to view. My heart started pounding immediately. <laughs> I could not contain my excitement so I told my patient what was happening and she was like go open it open it and then so I I was hesitant to open it because I was afraid and also you know the feeling of excitement and at the same time you're anxious so um, my patient was insisting it's okay go open it I was in the middle of giving care so I opened the email and we both jump with the numbers and then with the results and she was just so happy for me so if you all remember um, we collected 17 matured eggs during our um, egg retrieval and then they ICSI all of them then the next day 16 of them were fertilized nine of them made it to blast stage so we biopsied all of them for PGS testing and we froze them and then yesterday we received the email we were anxiously waiting for um, okay <laughs> I don't know how to share this this I just don't know <laughs> so out of nine six came back genetically normal which is just amazing so it all happened yesterday and um i could not contain my happiness and my excitement to share it with grant and with my families and i just don't know how to explain that feeling but my happiness were overflowing the feelings were overwhelming i wanted to call grant immediately but i was in the middle of my work so i was like oh my gosh but my co-worker was so understanding of me and they were all like it's okay i'll do this i'll do that just call go ahead and call grant you know this is an exciting news go ahead and call him tell him the good news so I called Grant and I told him how many came back genetically normal and then how many were females and how many were males. And then um, Grant and I kind of paused for a while and we just couldn't believe it. And then uh, we kind of asked ourselves, is this really happening or are we just dreaming, you know? After that call, um, it was 1 a.m. in the Philippines. I called my mom and told her the good news. We also told our parents-in-law and our brothers and sister-in-law. So they were all excited and very, very happy for us. Grant and I are very, very excited and very, very happy to have um, six genetically normal embryos. Um, you know, to have a 50 percent to, to have more than 50 percent of um, genetically normal embryos and then some of them have HBAB grade and some of them have H triple B's I think there was one that is HB double A so those are good grades and those are very promising so we received that good news yesterday but I feel like someone has to pinch me because until today until at this very moment I still couldn't believe with the numbers that we got and um, knowing that it was only a mini simulation and yet we got good numbers of um, embryos Anyway, um, Grant and I have talked about our go forward plan for all of it, for all of the embryos that we have. We will have to talk to our um, genetic counselor and our doctor of which one is safe um, to move forward first. 
um, which I think um, we will we should be receiving a call within this week. I am excited to talk with them and kind of know um, which one is the safest to start with. Um, also, I forgot to mention that we also received their genders, but Grant and I um, talk about it and we kind of want to keep it secret, <laughs> um, you know, to have an excitement for a gender reveal to our um, extended families, to our friends. But <laughs> as I've mentioned earlier, um, Ryan and I were so excited yesterday when we got the results. So because we could not contain it, <laughs> we shared it to our um, immediate family. Um, we shared it to my mom, to my parents-in-law, and to my brothers and sister-in-law. Um, but uh, we decided to keep it to our friends and extended family so to give them um, some excitement. So right now I am under birth control and I still have some spotting here and there. Um, but I spoke to my nurse earlier and she told me that she's going to give me another call uh, within this week to discuss my um, second set of calendar on also when is the possible transfer. I have some questions for her. We are we're going to discuss uh, what are the chances of miscarriage based on the grades of our embryos. We will find out probably within this week or next week if we can choose of which one to do first or if they are going to base that on their grades. Um, I don't know yet but uh, we are excited to talk um, to our nurse and our doctor on uh, which one to proceed first. We are both thrilled for our next step. Um, although I still feel a little bit anxious because there are still possibilities of miscarriage, I just don't know how many percentage would that be. But um, I am trying hard every day, you know, to be positive and do not think of miscarriage but instead um, think of ways on how to prepare myself just in case miscarriage happens um, I think I have to start training my body to be like hey hold on to that embryo <laughs> it is something you know, that we have to keep in here and not to push out so uh, we'll see um, I'm going to start living a healthy lifestyle we'll see my mom was very excited uh, that she would always tell me every day go to bed she would always tell me this is what you should eat and grant um, grant is the same he would always um, ask me hey do you want some uh, do you want some healthy food or healthy dinner for tonight I was like okay <laughs> With all that good news, Gran and I would like all of you to know that we are so grateful for the magic of science and those magnificent hands of our embryologists and my teams um, because we were able to create life um, in spite of our situation and also have hope that things will work out. Right now, um, we will just wait for my team and our embryologist to give us a call and give us a little bit more details on all those embryos. And uh, what else? I feel like I told you a lot already, but I don't know. Um, that's all for now. Grant and I are so grateful to each of you. Um, we are so thankful to our families and friends for loving us and uh, for rooting for us during our um, IVF journey. It wasn't that hard because of you, because of your support and your unconditional love. So um, yesterday, uh, with all that good news, I realized that it was one of the proof that you know, in spite of all those unfortunate things that happens in our lives, life is still full of beautiful possibility. 